Hey guys, it's Lisa. Life with Lisa. Saturday sit down. This video I'm going to be doing alone. Um, to be honest, to keep it real. Because I'm not happy with my husband right now. So this is a solo flight. So anyway, so um, let me start. I was saying about the Eagles. Okay, and I just had to stop short real quick. Um, a few years ago, I used to watch this one um, Eagle couple in Florida called... Uh, oh my God, Romeo and Juliet. And they actually have a son now that lives in their nest. And his name is Samson. And his, they, when the equal uh, mates, they mate for life. So his mate um, or his wife is called Gabby for Gabrielle. And she's just laid a couple of a a a eggs. So they're called clutches and she's sitting on the nest. And anyway, so it's really awesome. And last year they had, um, two little ones and they were called Rami and Jules, Romeo and Juliet, Rami and Jules. So it's fun to see Romeo and Juliet's child, which is an extension to them. They're still alive, but it's a long story another day, but they're someplace else. Then I watched Harry and Ozzy, which is another Eagle family in um, Florida. Ozzy was killed um, fighting a male Eagle and Actually, the male eagle now, that's with Harriet, is the eagle that caused the death of uh, Ozzy. But listen, it's nature. You can't be pissed off at an eagle for doing what comes natural to them. Um, and there's more to that story, too, and I'll get into that another time. And uh, who else do I watch? Oh, Jackie and Shadow. Sha Jackie and Shadow are cute. They're eagles in California. And unfortunately, she just laid an egg a couple of days ago. Shadow was nowhere to be found. I don't know if he was out hunting or whatever. I guess he didn't, because it's all instinct for them. Um, so anyway, he was nowhere to be found. And because of that, he was missing in action. And Jackie had to go eat. So when she left to go eat, Ravens came and ate the egg. But she just laid another one tonight. Shadow is there. He knows there's an egg there. And they, then they'll take turns sitting on the uh, eggs. Um... And then he'll bring fish to the nest and, you know, stuff like that. And it's really cute. There's another one. It's a new eagle nest called Captiva or something like that. And they had, they had twins, actually. And it's fun because the mother and father will do dual feedings. And, see, you know, it, it's just, you gotta, if you're interested, you just go to eagle, um, live eagle cams. Uh, who else? There's one in Maine, which I will say it sucks. It's boring. Um, but I feel bad for it, so I'll go watch it. There's a cool little thing for deers in Maine. In Alaska, there's something for live bear cam, which is amazing. Watching them eat all those salmons and catch them. Oh, my God. Um, there is Mr. President and uh, the first the first lady, TFL. And Mr. President, when he eats, he gets like a little necktie. And something's in their neck. It's called the crop. When they... When they eat and they get eat more food, they're able to store it in their food, in, in their throat. So when they get hungry, it looks like they're yawning, but they're not. They're swallowing the food and it's called a crop. So uh, what else is there? Um, I watched those and watched the, they've had eaglets over the years. And uh, I know there's somebody I'm missing. And I don't know. Oh, uh, it's called Eagle Country. And that's, that, that's another, that's a mess, that one. But anyway, so now let me just go back to catch real quick. Before I go back to what I was going to say, let me just finish by saying the other day when I was cooking, I don't know what meal I was cooking, but you could hear the eagles in the background. I said I would, I would explain. So I just wanted to throw that, throw that out there that I watch live eagle cams. Um, and it's fun. And right now everyone's having a clutch and Harriet has two eggs she's sitting on. Uh, Romeo and Juliet's son, Samson, and his mate, Gabby, is sitting on two eggs. Jackie and Shadow, she just laid another egg today. So, you know, she's um, incubating that. And I, it's just fun. So, anyway, and then you can see them. Um, it's called, oh, my God, Pippin. It's when you can see when they're breaking through the eggshell. Oh, my God, it's the cutest. It really is. And then they break out of it. And it's a struggle for them to get out of that shell, believe it or not. Oh, and there's another, I don't know if it's in Minnesota or where, but there's one mother um, that she usually has triplets. And usually, and sometimes in nest, 
you have an aggressive, a really aggressive one. And it's just, again, nature that will peck the hell out of the little one. And even to the point where it pulls its little hair out um, to get that food and to make sure that the other one does not eat. You think, oh my God, the other one's going to starve to death. But it doesn't. Because some way, somehow, it will eat. Um, but the, anyway, so this one mother who has, has triplets, you never, ever, ever see that in her nest. She will make sure, like an assembly line, because they all like like ducks line up, one, two, three. She will feed each one, one at a time, at a time, at a time. One bite for you and you and you, and that's it. And then if one wanders away, she will make sure she goes around that nest. It's called a nest bowl. Around that nest bowl until she finds the the other eagle that's sitting there and make sure she feeds that one. A really, I think one of the best mothers I've seen. Anyway. Now to get back to cats, um, I'm not gonna make this a long story, or a long uh, a song and dance about cats, but I've always been a dog lover. Always a dog lover. Never really liked cats, and I thought cats were kind of like evil and hissy and snaky. And hiss. You know what I'm saying? I I thought their mouth was like creepy and evil and just ugh. never like cats. Um, never even really wanted to touch a cat or pet a cat. And many moons ago, I want to say, oh Jesus. Um, oh my God, what year was it, Ken? Ken, what year would you say it was when John, when we got Sylvester? Uh, 2001? I want to say maybe 2001, 2002. To make a long story short, my brother was going through a divorce and she was from Idaho and she had the kids out there with her and then they were, um... So anyway, I don't know what happened, but my nephew came to back to Jersey for a little bit and he stayed with me. Um, and when he left Idaho, he left his cat. So anyway, long, long story short, I was looking for a, a cat for him and I happened to call up my vet. And would you believe it? They just, someone just brought in a stray kitten that was only a few weeks old, actually, and they still had to be fed. Long story short. So I got that kitten for my nephew. Long story short, when my nephew left the cat stayed, and that cat's name was Sylvester. OMG, OMG, Becky. Because of that cat, he is the one who opened up my heart and my home to all cats. Um, oh my God. I, and now I just love cats. I think, oh my God, how did I go so long without cats? They are so new, naughty. They rule you. Yes, they do. And I just love them to death. <laughs> oh my God. Cats are awesome, aren't they? And, uh, yeah, they really, they got a mind of their own, and I'll get into that another day. So I don't want to go into a tinsy about cats, because trust me, I can't, because I love them so much. And again, I don't disturb my animals. If I had even a pet mouse, or so I would not disturb them. Where my animals lay, in, and they lay in my bed, and believe it or not, I just became allergic to, like I say, cats and dogs. I don't care. Um. Anyway, but I will not disturb them. And if I get up to go to the bathroom, and somebody takes my spot, well then guess what? I know this is crazy. But I'm SOL. I'm out of luck, right? So anyway, um, and I've had a lot of great cats over the years. So many to mention. And I, I could have, I know this sounds crazy, 14 at a time. So, sometimes more. <laughs> I, those who know me know how many more, which we won't get into, will we? But anyway, so long story short, I love cats. Um, and my husband does not let me rescue animals anymore. Because what I do, I land up keeping them. And I remember one time I had five dogs that I was frostbitten. And the cutest one was very old. His name was Pierre. And Pierre was an adorable little doggy. So anyway, so that's for dogs and cats. So I'm not allowed to uh, force the cure or rescue them. Because uh, we do land up keeping them. But how can you bring a little kitty or dog into your house and not fall in love with it instantaneously and then want to keep it? I And even, you know what, I've had cats... I'll, I'll tell you that story too. Cause I don't want this to be so long winded, but so I'm going to jump. When I had Sylvester, we moved up to Maine. Okay. And I will say this and I, and I apologize for anybody from Maine, but I do not like Maine. I think it's a very boring state, very dead state. Um, but, and why do I say that? Only because I'm a Jersey girl. I'm right by that New York city area. So when I, with everything it truly is on every corner, gas stations, liquor stores, um, and when you say something's like right down the street, literally it's right down the street, like a, a block or two away up in Maine. I remember the guy goes, Oh yeah, it's right down the street. Oh my God. 
it was like three miles and that's not right down the street. So, and everything was just so, um, uh, can, what's the word I'm looking for? Not desolate. What, what's that word I used to say? Uh, very desolate, um, compared to Jersey and, and it, it's a beautiful state to visit. I have nothing against Maine. I really don't. And it's a beautiful state. I love the pine trees and I love the snow, and I actually love the cold, and it's a beautiful place to go to visit, but for me, not to live. I was there, for me, it was a very long, miserable, boring three years, and I said to my husband at the end of three years, because he had to go up there for business, I said, I can't do it anymore. I got to go back home, but then he had other business to do in Pennsylvania, so we skipped Jersey and went to PA for a, a little bit, um, which was, my God, it was not home, but it was so much better than Maine, um, because it was more built up. So, and I think at that time when we were in Maine, it was like, it's, it's like, I, I believe a nine hour state when you hit it to get through it, right? Jersey is only four hour state. Um, and I know in Maine at that time, there was only two Macy's in the whole state, two Macy's in the whole state. And I know in Jersey, I had four Macy's just in one town, Paramus, New Jersey, four Macy's. It was, um, the Garden State Plaza. It was the, um, it was, uh, Promise Park and there was two other Macy's and I, for a moment, I can't think, oh, but it has four malls. Maybe it was two Macy's in one town or four malls in one town because you had, um, Promise Park, you had the Garden State Plaza, you had the Fashion Center and you had, um, Ken, what's the, the Bergen Mall, which they built up really beautifully now and Bobby Flay Burgers are the best over there. Um, juicy big and delicious uh so anyway so so i really didn't like Maine. to get back to what i was trying to say and i we had the cat up there right so i wanted lisa not lisa excuse me um sylvester and he he looked like sylvester from um you know bugs buddy the block of the white and so i wanted him to have a little mate so again i went to it was a, 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 two kittens there were siblings Two sisters would be given away for free. So I went to go look at them. Took them home. I did not know at the time they had fleas. Brought them home. They had fleas. So this is how stupid I am. I put the cats. We had a big bathroom. I put the cats in the bathroom with the door open. And I'm, it was a huge, huge bathroom. And I put a child gate up. And they were about, I want to say, oh, geez. I think, uh. I really don't know. I don't want to guess. So let's just say around eight to 10 weeks old. I did not know, no, they could jump like that. And I did not know they could jump over that gate, which they did do. Um, and that's how stupid I was because I was not used to cats. And I didn't have Sylvester all that long. Plus, he really didn't jump. Um, do you know what I'm saying? He jumped on my bed, stuff like that. But not like how these cats jumped over that gate. So uh, I also didn't know a cat... A female cat can get pregnant at five months old. And lo and behold, um, Cheyenne, we, it, we named one Sweet Pea, another one Cheyenne. Sweet Pea became a fat pea and a grumpy pea or a split pea. We used to call her a split pea because it was like she had a split personality. When, one moment she'd be really friendly and great with the other cats and the other minute, like really like nasty with them. You know what I'm saying? And spanking them and... Uh, with her hands and like kissing at them. So anyway, uh, she was a cool cat. <laughs> yeah, and she was really, really a big cat too. Hence, Fat Pea. So Sweet Pea was her name. So Cheyenne got pregnant and um, she had a, um, a litter of kittens and she had four kittens. And obviously I could not get rid of them. I watched them be born. I helped one of them be born. And, um, you know, and, and watched them be born. So... I think in that litter, because we've had a couple litters, in that litter, the cat's names was Mimi, my love, and I'll explain her. Uh, Mimi, my love, her sister Bootsy, Peekaboo, and I want to say it was Blackjack. Blackjack. Blackjack had a son, and we named him Ace. You can see there's a little connection there, right? Because I kind of like to do that. Um... Anyway, with Sylvester, he used to pretend he didn't like love, but yes, he did. He was a naughty, naughty, naughty little kitty cat. And uh, unfortunately, he died from um, a kidney stone. 
a blockage he had. My, we didn't notice that's what it was. It was a blockage. And my husband went to work, noticed when he came home from work, I mean, morning and night, the cat was still in the same spot. The hens took him to the vet, and um, I don't think it was a good vet. But anyway, he ended up dying there that day, or that night. Uh, to go back to what I was saying. So, um, you know, to get back to what I was going to say about Mimi. Oh, no, Sylvester. So, Sylvester used to pretend he didn't like love, but he definitely did like love. And when you would pick him up and hold him, he would pretend he wanted to jump out of your arms. Or if you go to pet him and kiss him, he would pretend he didn't like it. He wanted to break loose. Um, but deep down, he did. And in the end, he did. And I'll tell you what, I used to love, I loved him so much. I know this is crazy, honestly. That when I used to go to work with my husband, I had one of those old-fashioned tape machines at home. The one where you could be in your house or someone called you. You could hear them, someone leaving you a voice, uh, 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 a message. And you could pick up the phone. So in a way, I would call and, and talk to Sylvester. And because I know he could hear me. So I would just talk to him. <laughs> Hope he would come by the phone. So anyway, long story short. But Mimi, oh my God. Mimi was Sylvester's daughter. And she looked just like him. But she had shaggy, long, beautiful, I mean long, long, fuzzy hair. And her tail was long. And her tail, you know, just wasn't long this way. But her hair just hung down like that. Very fluffy tail. And a fluffy cat. Um, And I, I'm going to show pictures of her. Um, Anyway. She loved to give love. She loved to be loved on. She would, you would say, Mimi, give mommy a kiss. Give, give me a kiss. She would literally come up to you and lick your nose or lick your forehead. And she would give you kisses. So she knew what that meant. Um, and hold that thought. I have another cat, which I want to show you a picture of. Of Her name was Alien. I'm going to try to post a video. I will leave the link down here because it's probably going to be like maybe uh, a 20 second video. So I'm going to post the link down here of her. She would play fetch like a dog. You, you know those little round pink and white um, or red and white mints that you get, those peppermints, and they're wrapped up in a little cellophane, like a cellophane, not cellophane, like um, some kind of little crunchy wrap. Well, if you threw that, she would run and go grab it and bring it back and drop it right in front of you and then wait for you to throw it. You would throw it again. She would run, go get it, and just like a dog, she would play fetch. And then it got to the point where you would open up the door, right, your bedroom door, and throw it down the staircase. She would run down the hall, down the staircase, where it landed, fetch it, and then come up the staircase, down the hall, and jump back onto your bed and drop it right there for you to do it again. And that was amazing. But to go back to uh, Mimi, she was the first cat, because like I said, we had Sylvester, that truly gave affection. And would sit, it was a lap cat. It would sit on your lap and climb on your shoulder and sleep with you and cuddle with you and nuzzle with you. Uh, she was a good girl. And she was a very good mother and um, very protective when she had kittens. Um, and she could be fierce. So Mimi. And then... Uh, I have pictures of her because she was my, besides Lisa being my first love of cats, but Mimi was truly my first cat that was affectionate um, and showed love. And you would be able to hold her. Oh my God, I would hold her like a little baby, like a new Lord. When she was a kid, you know how you hold a newborn baby in your arms like that and their face is facing up? I would walk around the house like that. And, just, and she loved to stay in that position. She was so content in that. I'm trying to look at the time because I don't want to just ramble. But when you get me talking about animals, I do ramble. Um, so she just loved to stay in your arms. She was very content like that. Um, and then if you try to go on the computer, that's what all cats, I think, want attention. They say, screw you all day long. They want nothing to do with you until you go to go on the computer. Then they start walking on the keyboard in front of you and she would go back and forth and rub against you and rub on you and just want pet. It's just, she just wanted to be pet. She was very needy, especially at that computer time. So I'm going to show pictures of her. Um, I had another cat. His name was Shagalicious. I called him Shaggy. And that was Mimi's son. And he had the same kind of hair as his mother. And that was Sylvester's grandson. I loved him to death. Um, loved him to death. And, um, anyway, long story short, um, he passed away and I have his ashes as well. And he was another good boy, but I don't, I'm not going to share pictures of him because I could be here all night long with cats I loved and cats that passed away and, and just, I think, bore you to death, including with dogs. And I have a, 
a, a love for our shepherds. We always rescued shepherds. And I'll, I'll get into Sassy. Sassy was a good girl. She was a shepherd, purebred shepherd. Um, and we believe it or not, the breeders didn't want her because um, she wouldn't be able to have um, a good litter because of her hip. Um, and something about you, for a breeder and to get papers, she had to have a better hip. For her to be able to breed. So we got a really good dog. Who is um, a young dog. And a completely trained. Meaning obedient trained. And um, very protective. So anyway. Um, and then obviously we're going to talk about. I'm going to show you pictures of Lisa. So let me just say this. I don't have videos just to be showing you all. Of all the cats. So I'm just going to do like a little slideshow on YouTube. Well, on here. Um, and just show you some of photos of all three cats. Of Sylvester. No, oh my God, not Sylvester. Of Lisa. I wish I could show you pictures of Sylvester. Unfortunately, there's none on my phone and I have none with me. Um, but I'm going to show you some of Lisa. He's the one who's sick now, fighting for his life. Some of Mimi, my love. I call him my love, but her name is Mimi. And her name is Mimi because she was a mini-me of Sylvester. Um, she looks just like him in the eyes, just everything. It was uncanny. Just the hair was different. Um... And I think if one, either Sylvester had his, like his two front pores, one of his pores, like he had a sleeve completely pulled down and one sleeve on the other one was pulled up. And Mimi, my love, she had the opposite. So her one sleeve was pulled up on this arm, pore, and on her other pore, that one was pulled down. And then I'm going to show you Alien. Um, Alien was Mimi's kitten, but not Lisa's kitten. But Lisa and Alien became best friends. Lisa, you would think Lisa was the father, and he was not. Um, Lisa would groom that cat, sleep with that cat, protect that cat, play with that cat, um, wrestle with that cat. It was awesome. They had a really, really unique bond and a great connection. So um, she died of we don't know what she died. She was only about two or three years old. She just... Never came out of the bathroom. We were in the bathroom. Uh, the door was open. Um, because I forget what we were doing in there. And, um, you know, we're like, well, where's Alien? Where's Alien? Well, lo and behold, she was dead on the bathroom floor. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to just share some photos of all three of those cats. Because all three of those cats were very special to me for their own reasons. Lisa's alive, thank God. Um, I just want to share a few pictures of them. All right. Talk to you then. Bye. Well, I guess get ready for the photos. Um, and I guess this is the end of that. I'm not going to come back. So, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. Be healthy. Um, be well. And I hope your New Year is going good so far. Okay. Bye-bye. Why, when I want to shut my camera down, I cannot do that.